Hey everybody, thanks for continuing to watch my videos. Tonight's movie review, obviously, as I sit in this direction, is Backstabbing for Beginners, which you also already know because that's why you clicked on it. To find out a little bit more about this movie, I hope, anyway, or just to see this pretty face, right? Backstabbing for Beginners was released on DirecTV, it seems like before theaters. Now 47% of the critics on Rotten Tomatoes liked it. And 75% of the audience, at least, I uh, thought it was good. 5.6 on IMDb. And I'm just going to read it to you here because a young program coordinator at the United Nations stumbles upon a conspiracy involving Iraq's oil reserves. Woohoo! <laughs> well, you might be into that, so I apologize. Theo James, Ben Kingsley, uh, Jacqueline uh, Bissett are the stars that I recognize in this, and I'm sure there are others. Uh, but I'm not going to scroll through all of this and, and look at them. Um, but I'll get into it a little bit and uh, tell you really what it's about on my first check-in so you have a better understanding and tell you if I like it or if there's anything interesting going on. So stick around. I'll be back. Hey, everybody. We're already at the credits of um, backstabber, Backstabbing for Beginners. Um, I didn't do any check-ins because it was really hard for me to follow. Uh, they crammed a lot in in this hour and whatever it was, let me see, let me get you to run time here, hour and 48 minutes. Um, I'll try and break it down a little bit for you. So essentially there's this young guy um, who wants to become a diplomat. I think he's 24 years old and, you know, he, that's really what his life dream is. He applies for that position and he gets hired. Uh, his dad was a diplomat and so he now wants to become one and at 24 he is. Um, you know, kind of rising to the top as a young star. Yeah, and he gets a, a really dream job of, of working in uh, Baghdad and stuff like that and the oil for food, um, whatever, program that's going on in the UN. So he's uh, an assistant to one of the heads of the UN, whatever. That's the stuff I don't really get involved in and I don't understand that well. So, but that's essentially what he is. And, and so he's over there and doing stuff political stuff, diplomatic stuff, and he falls in love with his translator and or, or starts to build a relationship with his translator who come to find out is some sort of spy and playing multiple roles in this. Um, meanwhile, the whole story revolves around people taking kickbacks and bribes from Saddam Hussein um, with the oil exchange and all that kind of stuff. Again, nothing I understand, but it was corrupt. And, um, you know, his boss was doing it, he was leading it, and uh, he finds out about it, the young um, diplomat, or wannabe diplomat. So he kind of finds out about these kickbacks and things like that, and he's caught in the middle, and he's trying to figure out what he should do, you know, if he should, uh, you know, turn them all in. There's evidence he's given, and uh, the evidence he gets, it ruins his little relationship that he's got going on. So it's all that kind of stuff, um, but very convoluted for me, and not being that much into the political side of wars and, and things like that. I do love war movies and soldiers and, and you know our troops and everything, and I love true stories, but this one, there wasn't a lot of development. I mean, this guy went from nothing to being a diplomat over in Baghdad and, you know, being this hero. And they, and I think it really did happen, but they didn't develop it enough. Like it was like one day he's this, and next day, boom, he's awesome, and he's all involved. And then the relationship that he had, uh, Ben Kingsley plays his boss, um, and every other word was the F word, um, you know. So they didn't really even have a lot of good dialogue um, throughout all of this. And it could be just I just didn't follow it well enough, but I felt it was very underdeveloped. Um, the acting was okay, but the the story was. The characters were underdeveloped, the plot was underdeveloped, they rushed it, you know, it was too much, um, you know, for me, I think, that I, I couldn't grasp it. I got the general sense of it, and that's what I explained to you, was he falls in love, and he's involved in a conspiracy that involves kickbacks in the United States and the UN and all that kind of stuff, and he's caught in the middle of all of it. That's really it. Um, and I'm sure there's more. I think if you look it up, you would find out uh, more about uh, Oil for Food. I wasn't aware of it. And so something I probably should research now. But as far as the movie goes, probably five, maybe six. A little disappointed in it. And, uh, you know, it's 
above my uh, above my political intellect I think on this one for me so I don't know maybe you if you're interested in those kinds of things this might be better like my uncle I think my uncle would really like this film because he understands the political side of things and really follows it um, but and, and I'm thinking you know a lot of other people do too so if that's your cup of tea this might be good for you you might enjoy it a lot better than me for somebody like me I didn't enjoy it all that much um, it just seemed like another spy movie um, you know, so that's it. It's all. Just two, two videos to check out on me tonight, so I'll keep it real short. I want to thank you for tuning in, and please leave me comments. Love to hear from you. Thanks. Kimmel's Irish Pub.